we're going to start it off here in Hebrews chapter 5. Look at Hebrews chapter 6, though, real quick. As I, as, you know, this is all just by way of introduction. The Bible says in verse number 1, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. Now, these are principles. These are the first things. These are the, the, the things you get to first in the faith, right? You have to have these things established. The doctrine of Christ, right? That, that's primary. Salvation is primary, right? You, you, you can't be a believer until you believe the doctrine of Christ, of who he was, the, you know, ever, all that he did for us. He, rose, he died, rose again from the dead. You know, he's the son of God. You have to believe all these things, the doctrine of Christ. And he's saying, you know what? We're going we're gonna to leave that because you should already have that foundation. So he's going to go on to perfection, meaning adding more to that. Now, we're not going to continue adding more to that. This is a fundamentalist conference, and I'm going to teach just on what the fundamental, you know, fundamentalism, what it is, and, and kind of um, how the Bible teaches that. But then he lists other things here. He says, not laying again the foundation. Again, talking about foundational principles. Repentance from dead works, right? We're not trusting in our works. This is, again, tied into to salvation, we're not trusting in how good we are. We're not trusting in our works to be saved and of faith toward God because we have faith in Jesus Christ of the doctrine of baptisms and laying out of hand, resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. These are all things that are just real basic, real primary things. Now, as fundamentalists, we don't want to lose sight of these things. We do continue to go on under perfection. We don't just stay at this level of primacy but as a fundamentalist, you don't want these things. These things are just unalterable. These are immutable. These are unchangeable. These are, these are some core doctrines that define and, and everything else needs to be built upon. Now, as believers, we're going to end up, every single believer is probably going to end up having some disagreement on how you understand certain doctrines in Scripture and, and just... You know, you're going to have differences of opinion in different areas, right? We're going to think that, oh, I think this means this, or you know, and it's going to be more nuanced. It's going to be uh, more particular on, on, on some doctrine, but it's not going to be the foundational things, right? If you can't agree on the foundational things, we're not believing the same thing at all. I mean, if you, if you don't believe the same method of salvation, you know, you're not even saved. I mean, that's what it boils down to. And these are things that just, there is no arguing. There is no debate. We're not going to have a discussion on, well, let's see, you say this and I say this and, and, you know, we'll see who's right. No, these fundamentals, the fundamental truths are right. They're not up for debate. And one of the things I think is, I find is interesting is that the people who shy away from, oh, you're a fundamentalist and stuff, especially those that, are, that call themselves Christian, Almost all of them are going to be these Christians that, yeah, you don't, you don't stick to any fundamentals. You know, you, just, you, you don't really stick to any doctrine at all. You, you think everything is up for discussion and everything is, is on the table for, oh, well, let's talk about that. Oh, well, what Bible do you have? Oh, I've got this one. Let's see what yours says and we'll see what mine says. And there's no foundation. There's no solid rock there. There's nothing to start from. And what the Bible says, we started off in Hebrews chapter 5 at the end of that passage before it goes into chapter 6 about the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Look at verse number 12. The Bible says, For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. And what he's saying is, you know, you've, you've been saved for a long time. You've been around this. You've been exposed to this. You, you've had the Bible, you've had people preaching, you have all this stuff. And he says, you should be teachers by this point. You know, at, at a certain point in your life, in your spiritual life, you're expected to grow. You're expected to receive and learn and grow. And he's saying, you've been around this for so long. Hey, you should be able to teach other people now. And he's saying, but you're not. And it's a shame because now you need someone to teach you again the basics. It's like, you know, <laughs> you, you're... you're 25 years old, 30 years old, you should be at an education level of like being able to teach grammar school, right? And he's saying, you got to go back to kindergarten. You got to learn your alphabet. 
You got to learn basic sentences and words. You know, you got to go back to the foundations. You need to go back to the principles. That's what it's like for the people who just disregard the primacy and the importance of having those fundamentals and aren't willing to keep those fundamentals at all costs. He says, for, in verse 13, for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Right? When you're born again, everyone who's born again, the day you get born again, you're a babe in Christ. It's a brand new birth. Of course you're a babe. And there's nothing wrong with being a babe when you first get saved. There's nothing wrong with, with having a baby when they're, they're just born, or of course they're a baby, right? And babies are going to cry, and babies don't understand very much, and babies need to learn, they need to grow. But I'll tell you what, if you've got, if you've got a, a 25-year-old son in your house, and he's still acting like a baby and throwing temper tantrums, you know, that's a problem. There's nothing wrong with that picture. And this is the, the spiritual situation, unfortunately, of many Christians, that they, they've been saved for a really long time, and man, for all that time you've been saved, you ought to be able to teach other people. And nope, you're still in need of the milk. You're still in need of the basics. 